Uh, hello, my name is Iris Hauser, and I am here in my studio in beautiful Saskatoon on a very, very hot day. I've always been really powerfully attracted to the visual world, to color, to shape. Um, paintings have always really fascinated me. But once I started painting, I found that the core of my work really is about I would say humanism. I started out, uh, my very first sort of oil painting really was a, a portrait of my brother and I've done a whole series of work now that have been portraits of my, my family. I'm just really trying to get beneath the surface and I find that I experience the world through drawing and painting in a really intense way. Uh, not only the visual world kind of processing it, I always feel as if I've never really seen anything unless I've, I've drawn or painted it and then I really see it and experience it in a, in a deeper way visually, but also in terms of understanding the world, that I process everything through art, whether it's a, you know, a really tragic experience, a death or something like that, I, f I feel the need to kind of work it through in a painting, or just things that you see in the world that intrigue you or puzzle you, attract you, anything. Basically the, the whole of life I see through that prism of painting, that I, I kind of look at the world and interpret it in my own fashion through painting. Because I want to tell these stories and have them have power, can be compelling and feel real, I've had to slowly learn a lot of, of skills, like technical skills, to make that both the, the look of things and the emotion of things come out in a painting. And so I've always fluctuated between trying to make these complex psychological type of paintings, but then these studies whether it's a still life study or a color study or trying to push the boundaries, trying a different style, kind of playing with the paint to push my knowledge and, and learn. So I've always kind of done that. Uh, since photography was developed, it used to say that that would be the end of painting, that now we don't need painting because photographs do all of that realism. And I think right now we're in a time where painting has really been lost. It's still out there, there are people doing it, but it's really been something that's that's almost lost from the public sphere and I think that's a real tragedy because there's nothing more capable of, of, of creating emotion and creating any image that you want it's it's once you master the difficulty of the technique you can do anything in paint anything you can conceive of you, you can just make it appear and I think that's something that I really like to to try to showcase that, to show that painting isn't just a historical thing, or, or it's still relevant today, it can still be new, it can still be reimagined. Well, my, my studio is, is an in-home studio, and, and that's to me really important. A lot of artists like to get away from the home and then separate themselves and work in a concentrated way, but I really like the way my work and life are integrated. And I love being able to come out and work for an hour or two and then go do something else, have a break, refresh, recharge, come back in. So I might work the same hours. Like somebody else might go and work for eight hours in their studio. Uh, I never do that, but I work for eight hours over the course of 16 hours. I work a bit here, I do something else, I come back. And for me, that's really a nice rhythm. I love that integration of, of being, you know, it's just, it's just here. I can put my brushes down, go out and have lunch, come back and just, just really work in, in my space. It's really important, I think, for an artist to have a space that's just yours. Nothing else goes on in here. It's almost like you can leave your, your dreams in the room and um, not have to put anything away or share it with other, other activities. So studio space for me is really important and having it at home is really important.